वेलकम टू वी लर्न हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑफ सिस्टम एनालिसिस एंड डिजाइनिंग इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट एम आई एस दैट इज मैनेजमेंट इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम इन टूडेज सेशन वी विल गेट मोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू एक्सप्लोर ऑन मैनेजमेंट इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम आफ्टर दिस लेक्चर we will be able to understand the concept of mis and apart from this you will be able to get an objective of studying management information system in context of system analysis and designing in business now we are moving towards the organization organization where lots of operations involves some facts and figure in the form of data so management information system is what basically it's about a repository of data which ultimately helps the management people at all levels to take on the decision apart from this in today's session we will also cover 7m of management examples of management system we are about to cover then types of information system how emerging technologies are used in mis what is the role of mis or information system in the decision support system what are the different component of mis that will also be covered in today's session along with export system export system plays a very prominent role in the entire organization so how mis is helpful in getting all these sort of system right so mis is what basically it's a information system which is specifically designed keeping in view of the management needs of decision making and action orientation right so system is defined as a set of related component activities processes and human being which interact together to achieve some common objective because system ko banane ki intentions hi yahi hote hai you you need to achieve some objective right information means and whatever data is inside the mis it is not the facts and figure rather it is the process form of the data which is process at different levels and then it has been input into the mis and this information is actually used by the end users management when we talk about the management there are different aspect with respect to the management so management means focusing on the ultimate use of such information system which are actually helpful for the managerial purpose and management function basically involves the decision making process right before we proceed further let's take a revision to that what we have covered and what we are about to cover by enjoying a little bit in this video so let's understand the concept of system analysis and designing with example with the help of this video now i am about to click this video so that you can enjoy it and not only enjoy it rather can understand it right this video will really help you to understand the concept in a fraction of minutes so system analysis and designing let's consider an example mr johnny adams the owner of xyz jewelers let's ask him what has happened as you could could understand there are a lot of problem going in the shop 
there are many frequent ro- robberies management issue and sometimes it is become very difficult to touch in in touch of clients then how these problems can be resolved mr john got an idea what idea is coming in his mind let's hire a system analyst that can help me him to resolve some problem now in front of you is mr analyst he is analyzing and using some steps to resolve mr adams problem now you can note down all these eight points research analysis designing production testing documentation implementation and finally evaluation now how the things are going on inside the system to resolve the problem in the jewelry shop you can have a view how the analyst uses the first two step that is research and analysis to understand how the current system functions and the issues with it various fact finding techniques once the analyst understand that what exactly is going on means inside the system analysis and designing you need to understand what exactly the problem is then only you can propose the design for the same once the customer approves the design then the analyst will produce the implementation plan here you can have a look that analyst directly replaced the old system with the new one there is the test testing of the new system also it's not like that okay, you can immediately replace the old system with that of the new one here comes the important role of the documentation you have to consider one example that let's say analyst dies so in that situation how the other people will work for the system so this documentation will help them so finally the old system is replaced with the new system in the implementation stage this doesn't end here again the new system is checked for any problem or uh, any other thing this is done the through evaluation right so as a whole with the help of the system analyst johnny lived happily after all the problems inside the robbery sh- in the, inside the jewelry shop has been resolved i think i hope you are getting the idea what is the idea behind it right so in this way this was the context that was used to make you understand that what why we require the analysis of the system why we require the designing of the system in which particular situation this system analysis and designing is being done in context of business and many more things i think this video has given you the answers of many queries that are cropping up in your mind now let's understand the concept of management also in brief here you can have a look that we are defining management principle that is called as a 7m principle the first m corresponds to man machine material method money maintenance marketing all these 7m principles represent the concept of management i hope you will be understand so man to manage a man hr department plays a very prominent role machine or in this department material inventory department method sorry for r&d department corresponds to method and here comes the 
operation management money you know it very well finance marketing means sorry maintenance means maintenance department and marketing means marketing department now let's explore each one of the, these right when we talk about the management term this seven in principle explains exactly the management word that what you need to manage in the organization or in the system because we are about to cover the system analysis and designing so when we talk about the system there are many elements inside the system that needs to be managed at different levels of time right the first one is that the seven m principle corresponds that is man it is the responsibility of the hr department to produce the potential manpower so that the required task can be done in a stipulated time period along with the right potential is utilized at the right department right so hr department manage the man or manpower next m corresponds to machine machine means here the efficiency of machine is basically responsible responsible for the productivity of the organization so operation management analyzes the efficiency and productivity and overall performance of the equipment machinery apparatus so that the overall performance of the organization can be improved right there is another department that is called as the inventory department this inventory department plays a very important role in the organization because all the material inventories come under under this part how many you know items are available inside the stock which one has been utilized by which party all this housekeeping work it is maintained inside the inventory department and inventory department plays a very very important role in the management of the system so 1m of management corresponds to material part next is method that is obviously management teaches us that there is not only a single path to achieve from source to achieve the destination or to reach from source to destination this not necessary that you have only one path it is quite possible that you have more than one path so in that situation we need to identify that what other alternatives are available inside uh, for that particular work so that r and d department look for those alternatives which can also be possible to reach to a particular destination or to achieve a particular target so r and d department of within the organization it basically helps to achieve all those alternative which can be possible to achieve the required goal of the organization next one is next m corresponds to money money again to manage the money to record keep record of each and every transaction inside the organization there is a department known as a finance department which keep track of each and every transaction which is going on inside the organization whosoever is making use of the fund of the organization that fund has a corresponding transaction into the accounts of that particular company right so if we are talking about the management it means management of money also plays a very important role that you can't neglect without which no organization can work is called as a money management money management also correspond to the cost and benefit analysis because in the organization if you are if lots of cost is involved for recurring the benefit on a particular project or by a machinery by some putting some asset so cost benefit analysis 
involves the calculation in terms of benefits what you are acquiring basically at the cost of a particular item right maintenance again to increase the life cycle of the different resources within the organization maintenance department plays a very important and housekeeping role it provide all the required resources which are required to improve and to increase the life cycle of a particular process or system right suppose in any organization some bike car or uh, like you know telephone is given to the employee so that the organization work could not be hampered or even laptop is also provided in most of the organization so maintenance department will provide you the different manuals policies guidelines so that you can maintain these resources which are actually the property or asset of the organization like laptop mobile computer and many more things like that right so these policies are basically built to manage the small resources of the organization not only small other policy can be built for the costly and uh, long range resources also next is marketing marketing is such a powerful m out of all 7 m because it actually it is actually responsible for the promotional activities of the organization of the system all 6 m m that is man machine material method money and maintenance they constitute a single group and last time that is the marketing it comes under another group mean to say that marketing is the most powerful m out of all other m in the management because by promotional activities by which is being done by the marketing department helps to close the sales and this closing of the sales means selling of a particular product or process or service right which ultimately helps you helps the organization to converts the i uh, means we can say which is actually helpful in getting the cash revenue or we can say the cash flow of the organization get increased because of the marketing activities because the, it helps you to increase the sales or closing of the sales get increased just because of the marketing activities marketing activities includes all the promotional activities which generates the walk-ins which generates the inquiries which generally helps to close the sales and ultimately it helps the organization to increase the sales or cash flow right so management information system includes all the management of all these seven m right apart from this management information system also help to produce the information that the organization needs to improve the decision making problem sometimes the information which is stored inside the information it not only is resolve the problem rather it also helps to control the operation and these decision making help problem solving help control operational help ultimately helps to create new products or services again mis is basically the repository of information which has which also reflects the past history of the product and services now let's explore that how what exactly is the role of mis within the organization so mis basically it supports day to day business operations हमें काम करते समय जिन बेसिक डेटा की नीड्स होती है और डेली बेसिस पे दैट इज एक्चुअली प्रोवाइडेड बाय द एम आई एस सो डेली बिजनेस ऑपरेशन इज बींग सपोर्टेड बाय एम आई एस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एम आई एस ऑल्सो सपोर्ट्स इन मैनेजर डिसीजन मेकिंग 
बिकॉज मैनेजर एट डिफरेंट लेवल इधर द पर्सन इज सीईओ डायरेक्टर चीफ फाइनेंस ऑफिसर चीफ इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफिसर ऑल द टॉप मैनेजमेंट पीपल हु हैज टू टेक ऑन द डिसीजन देर बेसिक टास्क लिस्ट इन्वॉल्व टू टेक ऑन द डिसीजन सो बट फॉर टेकिंग द डिसीजन यू नीड टू फॉलो दिस पर्टिकुलर हर आर की फॉर एग्जाम्पल डिसीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ ऑपरेशन फर्स्टली देर शुड बी ए सॉर्ट ऑफ डेटा दैट डेटा विल बी फर्दर प्रोसेस्ड एंड विल बिकम इंफॉर्मेशन एंड वेन दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज फर्दर प्रोसेस एंड इन दिस प्रोसेस इंफॉर्मेशन experience is also added it will become knowledge on the basis of the knowledge decision is carried out then on the basis of the decision action is carried out so this decision making process involves the data at different level and they these data keep on processed at different parts and that actually helpful that is actually helpful in the decision right so mis is helpful for strategic decision making also and when we talk about the strategic it means long term decision suppose an organization has to purchase a building has to purchase a new plant of machineries has to hire us the key person or want to launch a new product into the market all the decision which are corresponding to these examples they comes under the category of strategic decision apart from this on the basis of the time span period of the implementation of a decision we can also classify the decision as a strategic decision suppose you take a decision for one month for eight months for uh, you know 1 year 3 years 5 years 8 years 10 years 15 years 20 years and many more thing like this whosoever your decision you are taking in a long term that comes also comes as a strategic decision making process because it involves a long range planning for the welfare for the improvement of the organization apart from this mis also supports a competitive advantage also some time it become very much easy it is rather i must say that it become mandatory to get the information of your competitor so that you can bypass the competitor so in that particular situation mis also plays an important role because it provide you the data which is helpful in getting the competitive advantage next as in the previous part we have discussed that how the data which is stored inside the management information system is helpful in the business operation when this data is available inside the mis it means it will also help to get an optimized solution for performing different operations within the organization so this will ultimately reduce the operational cost also because you have lots of alternative with you and you can find out that which method of doing a particular process or work can reduce the overall resource utilization and can enhance the efficiency and productivity of the that particular process so optimized operational cost is another an advantage which is imparted by mis next is again information system within the organization as it it is also reflect that how much historical data you have captured apart from this you can also capture whatever information you are looking for in a timely and accurate way from this mis also right i hope now you are able to understand that mis is helpful for generating the information and this generated information helps to improve the overall performance 
of the system of the organization and maintaining the coordination between different department of the same organization apart from this information system extract process and summarize data from transition processing system and provide reports to the manager and these reports could be weekly monthly quarterly right so the study of information system in business and management is called mis apart from this mis also provide summarized data regarding the company's operational part the basic transaction data from tps are compressed and are usually presented in long terms long reports that are produced on regular basis again mis act as a tool in the hands of manager which helps them to get the reports and ultimately mis also serve as a good source of historical records right now how can we utilize the information which is inside the mis for different functions of the management the different functions of the management involves planning controlling and decision making at management level now let's discuss what is planning why it is required i hope you all understand that what exactly is planning see the planning is basically done to ensure that whatever we are doing it should be done in a stipulated time period within the quality constraints and within the cost factor so to achieve all these parameter we need to plan for everything whatever we are about to do apart from this management concept also focus that basically planning is required when there is a scarcity of resources if there is no scarcity of resources i think without plan you can still work very well so the prerequisite for the planning is when there is a scarcity of the resources now whatever has been planned earlier and what exactly is going on inside the organization the difference between these two parameter that what was planned and what is exactly going on this is reflected by means of control data or controlling is such an activity which find out the difference between the planned and the actual execution of a particular process within the organization and decision making at management level right so in nutshell planning monitoring directing controlling and management making these components serve as a functions of mis if you are preparing the mis for any organization so you can capture all these benefits again to enhance the power of mis mis is associated with the computer system when you i think you have already gone through with the generations of computer previous computer was so big in size and processing power was so low that it takes lots of minutes to process a single thing and in computer in it minutes means too slow process so that's why am i is associated with computer system because the efficiency and performance of computer system will ultimately enhance the performance and efficiency of am is of that particular organization so the widespread availability of the computer explains to a large extent to the extensive use of computer to implement any meaning of the mis today however computer system provide only the technology component and successful mis calls for understanding of the organization system and procedures right this 7m principle we have already covered right marketing also involves the strategies that we are about to implement for closing the sales right and method means you have alternative procedure to be applied and for that particular thing r and d section work really hard and maintenance involve all the preventive and planned activities right any questions so far now let's 
summarize the management system so management system are built keeping in view that it's a formal system which is developed by following some observ observable ways which in which an organization ad administers its operation and management managing a system provides you the framework of processes and procedures that are used to ensure that an organization can fulfill all the tasks required to achieve its objective so we need to plan first whatever it has been planned do it and whatever it has been done <coughs> please check it out and evaluate and if there is are some sort of shortcomings please fix that shortcomings and then act or i must use the word react so information system basically provides the assistance to the manager for efficiently discharging his responsibilities apart from this ms also generate some sort of alarm alerts complaints within the organization which ultimately helps the manager to control the environment of the organization because there are two important responsibilities that a manager at different level has to perform the first major activity of the manager is they have to you know take on decision and to take on the decision data is extracted from the information system of that organization another important action that is that is taken by the manager of any organization is to control the environment so management information system is again a kind of tool in the hands of the manager to control the environment and to keep the things under control <coughs> manager has to carry out the role of function expert manager take out decisions plan and coordinate for which he or she has to perform the role of communicator and control manager basically control all the activities which comes under his responsibility so efficient and effective operation of a business requires a management system if you really want that whatever business you are dealing with for the smooth implementation of the organization of the management system you need to follow a mis concept which can support business processes and operations improve decision making process and can help you to build competitive strategies <coughs> there are different examples of the management system some of the management system that have been computerized in various organizations are administrative management system human resource management system accounts management system i hope now you are able to understand what exactly is the system analysis and designing all these basically are the different department within the same organization and these sub department are acting as a sub system of that organization customer relationship management system knowledge management system logistics management system marketing management system operation management system project management system process management system right we can quote one more example few more examples personal management system product management system quality management system resource management system next is risk management system supply chain management system and last that is time management system you can add on one many more system into the this list i hope you are able to understand the concept of system now let's understand different types of the information system trans first one is transaction processing system all day to day operations are basically input in transaction processing system management information system which is used by different levels of the management that is top level middle level and lower level decision support system it only supports the decision maker in taking the system 
it exactly not you know gives the decision rather it helps in taking on the in taking the decision export system by making use of human intuitive system experience and technology collectively give rise to export system there are different types of computer which are supported in mis because the capability or efficiency and performance of the mis is judged with the type of computer is associated with the <coughs> information system so there are different types of computer which are supported in mis that is network server mainframe computers mini computers super computer four types of computer are supported in building and designing of mis data processing again whatever data you are about to input into the information system of an organization the data need to be processed first now what exactly is the data processing so data processing means checking the structure character presentation design of the data value of the data range you are about to use and error free data in other word data processing is what basically it's handling the raw material in a systematic manner so that you can conform to the data quality standards as determined by the designer of the information system so whatever input you are doing into the information system or management information system it needs to be processed first because processing of the data will rectify the errors of that data also it means correct data will be input into the mis and if the correct data will be there then corresponding action and decision will also be automatically correct when we talk about the transaction processing so a transaction processed with reference to the business rules is that a transaction is scrutinized for conformance to the rules policies or guidelines before it is taken up for further processing so always is transaction is carried out in context of business rules now information system processing involves following functions following function means either it's a trading or manufacturing it depends upon the nature of the business what sort of product or services are offering it depends upon the type of business you are dealing with complexity of business is specified in terms of multiple locations multiple divisions and many product which are being you know dealed by a particular company management style yes for the complete implementation of the mis you need to follow particular style of management autocratic style and participative style if the team size to whom you have to manage is small that is up to 8 to 10 people are there in the management or in the group so in that particular situation it is preferred and apart from this not only on the basis of the number of people apart from this if uh, some small decisions is there then autocratic style of working or management style can be followed and participative management style involves all of the people who are the part of management to take on decision it gives you more informed decisions there are different emerging technologies which are used in the mis internet and intranet when we talk about the social network the social network all operate by means of internet intranet within the organization again 
MIS also supports EDI that is electronic data interchange. Electronically data may, can be transferred from one place to another place. Email is again a tool in the hands of all the people who are the part of system. Groupware, client server for application processing. Multimedia, in, by using multimedia you can input and get output in many forms like video, image, data, character, many more format. Processing of image is called as an imaging system. These are another important technology which is used in the MIS. Knowledge based system are used by the experts. Artificial intelligence system which is again the component of computer science along with the computer added software engineering tools helps in the systematic development of a application and these applications automati automatically enhances the speed and operational part of the organization. Next is decision management with information system. Decision. Now let's discuss what exactly is decision. Decision making is the process of selecting a course of action among multiple alternatives. So decision is a kind of choice activity in which you have multiple alternatives and choices in your hand and you have to choose one out of many alternatives. For example, shopping, medical decision making, from where you have to diagnose a particular for a particular disease, deciding what to eat and deciding whom or what to vote for an election. All these are the examples that we have to take on in some or the other way in our daily basis, on our daily basis. Decision making is said to be a psychological construct that that is we can never see a decision we can get from the observable behavior that a decision has been made. Right? Experts use intuitive decision making rather than the structured applause approaches. So policy is one approach to making the decision in the groups. Right? So decision making is based on four dimensions that how a particular manager thinks and feels, his nature of extroversion and introversion, the judgment and perception skills of a manager also add a new dimension in the decision making process. Apart from this, sensing and intuition also plays a very important role in the decision making process. So these dimensions would tend to have a logical, analytical, objective, critical and empirical decision making style. Right? There are different types of decision within the organization. There are certain decisions which can affect the operational management uh, and along with this there are certain decisions which can affect the execution and control of the business. The strategic business decisions are, is another category of the decision within the organization. Right? So I think you are able to understand that how MIS is helpful to improve the overall performance of the system analysis and designing or an organization right so you need to really have work hard to understand the concept of MIS because if the MIS of the organization is correct then whatever decision you are get you are you know capturing from this particular MIS that will be automatically correct and if the MIS the data inside the MIS is not correct then worst to worst thing can happen for the business right any questions so far thank you